Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at merging swatches in Illustrator. But before we begin, let me introduce you to my Illustrator courses at Skillshare. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you and my coupon gives you a deal at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine's better. I also have Illustrator courses at Udemy. You'll find a referral link to these courses also in the description below. And feel free to share these resources with family and friends. Let's swing back to Illustrator here where I have an image open. Now I drew this in Procreate on my iPad, brought it into Illustrator as a high quality JPEG and then I've gone ahead and traced it and I've expanded it. So I've got here in the LAS palette all the objects and I've already grouped them up so that every one of these pieces of fruit is in a separate group. So it's sort of all ready to work with. The problem is that I don't have access to the colors here if I want to make some changes to the image. So I'm going to select everything with select and all. And then I'm going to make a set of color swatches. So I'll come down here to color group, click on that. I want to select my colors from the selected artwork and I want to convert process to global. So this will allow me to make global changes. So I could pick this pink, for example, and change it to another color. Well, that's the theory at least. I'll click OK. You'll see here that I end up with a lot more colors than I actually bargained for. I thought that there were just three or four colors in this image, but it seems as if Illustrator has interpreted a lot of these colors as sort of variations. So what I want to do is to put all these colors together. So I want to say that, for example, this is a color that I want to use. And so I want to merge all these other colors with it. Well, the very first thing I need to do is to click away from my artwork. As I start clicking on colors, this is what's going to happen. And that's not going to be good at all. So I'm going to just select away from my artwork. So I'm just focusing on swatches at this stage. Now I'm going to select the swatch that I want to be this white color. So I don't want it to be pure white. I think this is actually probably a better color. So I'm going to select it first. Then I'll hold down control on a PC. That would be command on a Mac as I click on the other white swatches. So you're going to select the color that you want to be the final color first and then control or command click on the other colors that you want to merge with it go to the fly out menu and choose merge swatches. And we're just going to do that with all of these colors. And then once I've rearranged my swatches, I get a look at what I've created here. And so we've got a limited color palette here now. There actually are three pinks in the image. There are a couple of blues as well as the blue at the background. And then there is what purports to be a sort of white. Now we can easily make changes to the image. So if I select on this pink, which is represented throughout the image, I can alter it. I'll double click to open up the color selector and I could change it to a very different color. Let's just preview it. And you can see now that everywhere where that pink was used in the image it's now being recolored appropriately. So when you trace images in Illustrator you might find that with simple line art like this you end up with multiple swatches and so you can merge them and of course you can do that for other types of illustrations in Illustrator whenever you want to merge two colors together so that they are now one color particularly when they're global colors that's how you merge your swatches. I hope this video has been of help to you. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.